Hey guys, this is Sergeant Merrill, and today we're going to be discussing maxes in Planetside 2 and how developers could bring balance to a hot debated topic. Gentlemen, what is going on? It's a fabulous day. I woke up bright and early for this commentary. Got my coffee right in front of me. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Ah, you, you know that I love to do this when I wake up at 5.30 in the morning just to knock out a commentary for you guys because I got so much going on in the day. Let's, uh, let's cue some easy listening music and talk about maxes in Planet Side 2. Now, if you don't play a whole lot of Planet Side 2, you don't know what I'm talking about. The maxes are the mechanized infantry units that you can spawn sometimes. And the maxes have just been a, a hot debated issue ever since the game came out a year ago. I mean, there's always been talk about which one is overpowered. Uh, they shouldn't be able to do this. They should be able to do this. And, and the, the issue has kind of rose, risen up again. I, I follow quite a few Planet Side 2 commentators. And I'll put a link down to the most recent one that I've listened to that kind of inspired me to make this commentary because it, it is kind of becoming a resurgent topic that maxes need to be addressed in the game. And it's also a conversation that comes up quite a bit in my streams. If you don't know, I've been streaming quite a bit of Planet Side 2. I think it's great for a streaming environment uh, just because everybody can play with me that's watching the stream. I think that's, that's really cool. Even if I have a thousand people watching me on the stream, they can all jump on and play with me. But, but a, a topic that I see that's kind of uh, reoccurring in the stream is the topic of maxes being overpowered, particularly how much I use the max. Now, I've talked about this before. Uh, the reason that I use the Max so damn much is because it's often just the best tool for a very particular job. And that job is usually very important. I have three different setups in the Max, and most of what I'm talking about is coming from my experience with the NC Max. I haven't played the other factions, but I do have a lot of experience fighting against them, and a lot of my opinions, I think, are pretty universal. But my three setups that I have for the, for the Max are is, is obviously the Burster Max, uh, which is very good against anti-air, but only good against air. That's all it's good for. It's not good against armor. It's definitely not good against infantry. Your role is very specific to go against air, and you're very good at it. Uh, the next setup that I have, we've all seen it, the scatter max, uh, which is to use the scatter cannons, and you just wreck face in close quarters. And that's all it's good at. Now, you can put some slugs on it like I do and get a little bit more range out of it, but it's not going to be that much. You're job is very particular. You wreck face in close quarters, no damage against vehicles, very little damage against air, that's it. Uh, and then we have my third setup, which is what you see here, my Raven setup. This is good at stopping armor columns from coming toward a base. Once they're already at the base, the tanks are just gonna wreck your face uh, unless you're able to play peekaboo with them. Uh, but this is what it excels at. It's okay at infantry at a range up close, not that great. It's okay against air. Air is typically gonna be too fast for it. Uh, it is meant specifically to stop armor columns. There are those people who like to kind of switch it up with a max and maybe put a burst on one arm and a raven on the other, <clears throat> but I don't think that's very effective. It's really, it, just one burster is just enough to kind of tickle the, someone in the air and kind of maybe distract them from being in a certain area, but you're not gonna get a lot of kills. And the same with one raven. And just one scatter cannon is just very difficult to be effective. Now, I'm not saying that's not a way that you can play the max. There are certainly, I see a lot of people that do, but in my opinion, if you're gonna do something, go balls to the wall, do it right, and be very effective in a particular role instead of splitting your efforts. Now, the reason I think people get so upset about the max is because it's, it's very easy for you to jump into it and go on a kill streak. In fact, if you don't go on a kill streak, if you're performing it for a specific role, like I just talked about, you're kind of doing something wrong. If you're in a burster max and you're going against air and you're not getting a couple air kills within the lifespan of that max, something went wrong. The same for the close quarters. The same for stopping an armor column. If you, if, if you didn't do well at that particular role using the, using the max, you did something wrong because that is its only role and it excels the best at that role. But even with that in mind, it still upsets some people that you could just jump into this infantry unit and do that sort of thing. And I think the, what, what's going wrong here is people have the wrong mindset about the max. People don't get upset when you jump into a tank and get a couple kills easily. I mean, it's a tank. You're supposed to have a little bit of an advantage, but you paid for that tank. You used your vehicle resources to acquire that tank. You spent the significant amount of certs 
to make that tank better. But people still don't get upset because it's a fucking tank. <laughs> <laughs> and I think they need to have the same sentiment, the same mindset with the Max. The Max shouldn't be considered an infantry unit per se. It rolls with the infantry unit. It, it walks like an infantry unit, which is why I enjoy it so much, because I don't need to worry about going upstairs like I, like I can't do with a tank or getting into a biodome. But my mindset with the Max is that it's not an infantry unit. The Max is a vehicle. And I think that's what is confusing a lot of people because they're they're bulking this in with the the infantry units, thinking that it should somehow stand like like a heavy assault should somehow be able to stand toe to toe. When in reality, they kind of can if they use their rocket launcher correctly. But that's not the point. The point is you can't spawn in as a max. You have to go to a unit and and spawn the max at a unit like you would with a vehicle. Now you can do it at the Sunderer and other places that you can't do it with a vehicle, but that's kind of the point of this entire unit. Now the max gets some special benefits that you don't get with other vehicles, and that's where I'm gonna to start to disagree with the current system and where changes can possibly be made, because I am going to agree with you. You can wreck face with the max, and it's not hard to continuously stay inside of it. So another thing that makes people so upset is that you can stay inside of the max for very long periods of time. And that's the player sentiment that I'm gonna agree with, that I think uh, where they went maybe a little wrong and the balance started to sway with the maxes that make them maybe a little bit overpowered. So I'm thinking of the max as an equal to the other vehicles, as, I, as I've said, maybe not toe to toe. I don't think toe to toe this thing can go against a prowler. It's just not gonna happen. You get your face blown off unless you're playing peekaboo really good. Uh, but it is a vehicle. I think they got it right when they said, okay, it's a mechanized unit, there's a person inside of here, but it is a machine. It needs to be repaired by an engineer. So you can't sit there and you know, get your health up with a medic like you can with an infantry unit. You have to be repaired by an engineer. They got that right. But when you die, a medic can just come over and revive you. And that's where I think they got it wrong. If you're in a tank and your tank blows up, it's not like a medic can just come over, revive your guy and Boom, there the tank is. In fact, if, you're, if your tank gets destroyed, there's no way to revive you at all because the fucking thing explodes, which isn't the case with the Max. You just kind of fall over and die. But let's say you could revive somebody that died in a tank that exploded and there their body is laying on the ground and you go over and revive them. You know, of course it wouldn't make sense for the entire tank to come back, but maybe it would make sense for them to be revived as whatever class they were when they got into the tank. Now, I'm not saying that needs to be put in the game, but if they're really hard set on you being able to revive somebody who died in a max, maybe they should have that person come back as whatever class they were when they stepped into the max. Give people the same punishment that they get when they get their vehicle destroyed. It's like, oh man, you know, could have done better. All right, now I need to spawn back as an infantry. Or think about it when you're coming against an enemy max or an enemy vehicle, when you finally destroy that vehicle, you're like, fuck, ah, oh, finally, got that guy out of the way. You know he's coming back, okay? You know he's gonna respawn somewhere nearby very soon, but it's not gonna be in that same vehicle. Maybe he still has some resources, maybe he can do it one more time, but it's not gonna be able to continuously come at you in that same vehicle simply because a medic was nearby. And there's a couple different reasons that I like this solution. One, it's very simple, and the development cycle on it would not be that uh, intensive. And that's something I think a lot of people don't consider. I think it's pretty funny that people are like, some of the recommendations are that uh, it requires an entirely new resource system. And I can just see the developers when they're reading comments like that and they're just facepalming. and they're like, no way, like that's gonna take forever. We have so many other things that we wanna contribute to this game. Uh, that That is just out of the question. Uh, so this does not take too much development. Okay, this is just switching over the resources, I think, maybe from infantry to vehicle, and give people the same punishment with the max as they would receive when they die with the vehicle. So maybe don't even give the ability to revive the max at all. And that may upset some people. I mean, sometimes you spawn in the max and you step outside of the, the spawn area and you get blown up by like 50 tanks. But that just happens sometimes, guys. You gotta deal with that. I mean, how do you feel when you, you spawn your awesome tank that you've been working on forever? You know you're gonna wreck face with it and you're pulling out from the little vehicle gate and you go over some mines and you blow up and boom, there goes the dynamite. <laughs> there goes your tank. You know, how do you feel about that? You know, you're upset, but you're like, well, fuck, you know, it's just the way it is. So that's my opinion on how to balance the max and planet side too, but I wanna hear your opinion. Down in the comment section, let me know what you think of my idea and let me hear some of your ideas, considering development time in mind when you do.
Like, make it realistic. Don't be like, oh, they should do something completely out of the box. You know, it's gonna take like three years of development time. Something realistic that could balance Max's and Planet Side 2. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. This is Sergeant Merrill, out here.